Okay, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour of the studio. This is actually the front room, the hanging out, sleeping on couches, eating meals, made in this really cool 1950s style kitchen. But that's not the important stuff. As we walk on through here, hi. <laughs> Brian talking about crawling into the house again. Uh, okay, over here is the really, really cool Neve console that uh, has some of the best preamps I've ever heard in it. It's up to a Pro Tools rig and rack units that I cannot even identify. Hopefully one day we'll identify, but at the moment still can't. Touch bay. Tons of cool stuff to play with that we'll play with more when it gets to the mixing process. Here's the Scooter 24 track tape machine that they're actually recording to. Scooter. Not Scooter, it's Scooter. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's about as gentle as the one son of a bitch can be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, this is what the guys do between like trapping. Nice double meat burger. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about double meat burgers. <laughs> As we walk on through here, this is the main room, the actual studio room. Uh, this thing has got, I'm going to try to tilt this up for you, an actual floating ceiling that rests at like 16 feet. Uh, the walls are made out of these types of concrete blocks that have ridges all in them for sound fidelity. Got an incredible mic setup going on the drum kit, which we've already disassembled part of the mic setup on the drum kit uh, in order to use some of those parts over here, where they turned a kick drum up on its side and played it with mallets for treble songs, which is going to come up sounding very, very good. We walk over here, you can see uh, this is the setup that uh, Rich, bless you, is working with at the moment. Uh, let's see, there's this guitar, and over here, pedal board, I know I'm having a hard time getting a, a good shot of that for you, but it's over there. And what they're going to be working with tonight is this incredibly cool Leslie cabinet, I know it's kind of hard to see right now. Uh, which Mitch has got a three mic set up on so that he can get all of the, the tone on it. And if you're not familiar with the Leslie, the lighting is really bad, but it actually has moving parts that oscillate. Cinnamon Toast Crunch! The Cinnamon Sugar Shakers! <laughs> the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Makers! We're Cinnamon Toast Crunch! And now we have product placement. It's going to be on the new record. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And over here, now that we've, we've gotten the, the advertising dollars out of the web. <laughs> here are just a few of the stomp boxes and pedals and whatnot that the guys have the opportunity to use. trying to do this slowly so you can at least kind of get an idea of what all they have available. Now up there at the top of the stairs is actually where I've been sleeping for the last couple of nights up above the studio. And I hope I'm not making you too sleep. We can walk up there and I can show you Mitch's mighty fine collection of albums hanging on his wall. And I'm not talking about regular old albums hanging on his wall, but actually the uh, line of gold and platinum albums hanging on his wall here. And uh, my favorite of these is uh, this one right here, which I don't know if I can get a close enough shot at for you. But if you can see it, it's for Reckoning. And then this one over here is for Murmur. 
this one a bit different was uh, Suzanne Vega. Then we have Squirrel Nut Zippers. And then the Squirrel Nut Zippers Platinum. A million copies. That's a lot of records. And I believe that's going to conclude it. Uh, well, I can't leave this room without making mention of all of the array of guitars and basses that are stored up here for musicians to have the opportunity to use. And a, a sitar as well. I think they've got absolutely any instrument you can think of that you might actually want to use. But anyway. Okay, that made me busy. That was a quick tour of the studio again. Here's a little pan view for you. Incredibly cool place. We're very glad to have gotten to come here um, and work with Mitch because he's a great guy. Anyway, we'll keep updating you. We've still got quite a few days left in here. And if anything interesting happens, we'll make sure and update you. I'll see you in the fall. Have a good night.